Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another fantastic night of VRML. We are in Season 6, Cycle 3 now. I am Jeep Girls. With me today in the caster's booth is Pinch Nerve, and over on cams is Wonder T-Man. Pinch Nerve, how are you doing today? I am doing great, Jeep Girls, and I'm really looking forward to this game. We have Everkey Oxygen versus the Pittsburgh Panthers. We sure do. And over for EK Oxygen, which is blue tonight, we have CJ, Eric, Chris, and Aiden. And coming in for the Pick Pittsburgh Panthers, we have Condog, Zinzi, Phantom, and Ducky. So this is going to be a fantastic match. It most certainly is. I am I'm very much looking forward to it. EK, every key, every key, Oxygen is currently rated 66. They've been around for a little while longer. You know, they, they have a record of 14 and 10. While the Pittsburgh Panthers, they're, they're a new team. They're rated bronze, but that's probably only because they're such a new team. They've only played four games. One of those was a forfeit in their favor, and they've won two others. Very nice. Well, they should be readying up here in just a second. While we are waiting, though, let's talk for a second, Pinch Nerve, about what's coming up in just a couple of weeks, which is what? We have Fall Fest. We That's sure going do. to be six weekends, three leagues, one passion, starting October 15th and featuring Pavlov season nine finals, onward season 13 finals, and ending with the Echo Arena season six grand finals, Sunday, November 20th. VRML Fall Fest is a celebration of over five years of VRML growth through passion and dedication. More details, including detailed schedules and stream locations, will be available in the coming weeks. <laughs> Very nice. It's going to be so fantastic, and we definitely hope you guys will all join us for that. We are jumping right into this match, though, as a quick joust there from the Pittsburgh Panthers. That disc is going to be right there outside of the bubble as Condog is grabbing that disc pretty quick there, moving up the wall a bit and across some geos, sends it across the arena to Phantom. Phantom going to cross it back. And that disc is going to be back out of the bubble, picked up by Eric. Pass it back. Oh, he's going to reset it right back to the to the Panther. Zenzi's able to send it up to the shoulder and across over to Condog, who tries to make a goal, but no, it does not look like it's going to go in. Ducky's able to pick it up. Two points to start the scoring. It is 2-0. 2-0 with loads of time, as that only took them 40 seconds to get that first goal there. Uh, they're making some quick quick work of this tonight. And, um, you know, Joust Advantage going back over to every key oxygen right now as Chris does come out of the tunnel. Quickly does get that disc off over there to Eric, but the stack from the Panthers grabs that quickly and sends it all the way into the bubble where Phantom does pick it up off the bounce. Ducky with the disc going towards the goal, sinks another one, stretching that lead to four. Uh, there's, that's only a minute and 10 seconds that have gone by. They're already ahead by four. I have to wonder, does every key oxygen realize that this might be a really tough game for them? On the joust. Looks like it's going to be picked up once again by EK, EK, EK Chris, who's going to pass it over to the left. Oh, but it's picked up by Ducky. Ducky sends it across. No one's there to pick it up. Ducky gets his own pass back. I guess that's a self pass. He's gonna walk <laughs> it up toward the bubble. Kind of joke around. Two points. It is now six to zero. Wow. Eight minutes left on the clock. They are definitely putting the hammer here on Oxygen tonight. I'm sure that uh, you know once once Oxygen gets on the board first, I, they'll find some momentum and they'll be able to roll with it. But they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to get there, and they're gonna have to beat those stacks that are coming in hot from the Panthers. A nice send all the way down through the arena there to Eric on the floor. Eric's gonna send that one high to CJ, moving into the bubble. Sends it across to Aiden. Aiden in a great scoring position is gonna get that one in off of Ducky. Oh, that is so. I've, I've been in that position where I thought I saved it, but no, it, <laughs> it goes in anyway. It'll bounce off my head or bounce off my hand or I'll pull it through myself. That's really unfortunate when it happens. For the first time on the joust, Zenzi sends it out to the left tunnel. Does not quite get to the tunnel, however. And stacks are running in. Grabbed by CJ on every key. Every key sends it into the goal. Two points. 
They're catching up. Six to four. And there's that that momentum that I was talking about. Once they can get on the board, then they're able to kind of roll with it and keep going. I mean, they took this from a six-point lead. It's just a one-goal lead now with almost seven minutes left on the clock. That is loads of time as the Pittsburgh Panthers are going to come out with the joust advantage again. Zenzi with the disc right there waiting for the stacks to come in, but they are not even through the midfield of the arena yet. They are just now starting to make a move, and that's going to be Zenzi crossing to Phantom. Phantom sends it all the way across the arena. Nicely done to Ducky. Ducky now going to send that back to Condog, moving towards the goal, kind of juking and ducking, and that's going to be another one on the board for the Pittsburgh Panthers. That was very beautiful passing. That was very coordinated, very patient, and it paid off. They're ahead by four points now. So... On the joust, let's see if Oxygen can get some air here. And they're going to come out. It's going to be grabbed by E.K. Chris, sent off to the right side. But it is not caught. It's, oh, it's passed on by Aiden. Looks like CJ was there, but not quite going to get it. Going to float around here, see who grabs it. Eric grabs it. Eric's going to look for a pass. They're passing around the ceiling there. CJ sends it down, but it's saved by Zenzi. Very nice save. Unfortunately... It still goes in. Another self goal on self goal on Zenzi. The score is now eight to six. We're about four and a half minutes through. You know, that was a great save, but and and sometimes you grab saves like that and you're you just kind of sit there for a second, like, oh my god, I actually have the disc in my hand, and you forget <laughs> that you gotta get rid of it quick. And that that's kind of key on those behind the board, behind the goal grabs there, is you do have to get them off quickly, especially when you have a lot of attackers right there in the goal area. That's a beautiful long shot by Ducky, stretching that lead to five points with five wow. minutes left on the clock. That was a beautiful <laughs> shot. Yeah, I'm jealous. I want to do that. Right? Oh yes. wow, that that brings them that brings them up by five. We're gonna have Ek Oxygen on the joust once again. And again, it's grabbed by Chris, who's going to send it off. Oh, it's going to get picked off by Ducky, who sends it toward the blue bubble. Phantom's able to grab it, and oh, oh off the ding ring. But Ducky grabs it again. It's going to play around. Shoot, two points, 13 to 6. Wow. Okay, stretching that lead, and that's Joust Advantage going back over to Oxygen right now with 4 minutes and 24 seconds left on the clock. They do need to... Kind of start getting some points on the board. They're gonna, they're gonna start to slip, and that does get in your head mentally a little bit. So hopefully they will come out, grab that disc as Chris just has, and be able to make them both the most of it. Nice pass over to Aiden. Absolutely gonna cross the arena to CJ. CJ right there on the ceiling, but does get stunned and stolen there. Phantom slaps that one back. Condog slaps it again, and it is back into the hands of CJ as that disc is sent down into the midfield. From the trench, Dunkey's able to grab it and send it into the blue side. Picked up by Phantom. Phantom's going to walk along the floor, pass it over. Oh, but nobody's there to pick it up. Dunkey's able to grab it, send it back for a reset to Zenzi. Zenzi's going to look it over, maybe tempt the uh, defensive stack in there. Nope, walk it across. And passed over to Ducky. Ducky's into the bubble. Pass up to Condog, who tries to make a uh, goal, but Eric's able to grab it, clear it out. And let's see who grabs it. It's going to be grabbed by every key oxygen and Eric who clears it cross and out. Stacks That's come in. Go ahead. Yeah, you were good. You were on a roll there. Ducky with the disc now going to send that one. Not quite yet. There we go. Does release that disc sending all the way down into the bubble. It is going to be a battle to see who gets there. But Phantom picks it up, sending it high. Going to go a little bit wide, though, and not quite get into the goal. It is down in the trench area now as Zinzi's picking it back up in the midfield. Kind of drawing that stack out so that they can make a nice clean pass and does indeed over to Ducky. Ducky sends that one into the bubble to Condog, sinking another one in, stretching that lead with just two minutes, 45 seconds left on the clock. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeep Girls, the uh, the website might say they're uh, bronze rated. This is not a bronze team. This is an F Platinum, maybe even poking into Diamond here. They are playing very well. On the joust, we have Chris passing it over to the right tunnel. And, oh, nobody gets it except for the Pittsburgh Panthers. Zenzi sends it out and up, picked off by Chris. Chris is going to send it right back into the orange bubble. Here come the stacks. And it's picked up by Aiden, who's going to just stuff it right in there. 
closes it down, 15 to eight. We still have a game. We have a fantastic game with two minutes left here in round one. As always, best two of three here in VRML, which is lovely. I love that so much. And that is going to be a joust advantage going over to the Panthers now as they come out roaring as Zinzi grabs that disc. Not feeling too much heat. The stack does come in, and that's going to just goes to Phantom across the arena to Condog. Condog sends that one down to Ducky. Ducky looking at a one. Oh, nope, with a 1v2. But it's going to go right to the bottom pocket, stretching that lead. They are killing it. Absolutely. 17 to 8. Um, one, one and a half minutes. Ooh, they'd be pushing it. They could probably make it up, but I, I just don't see it happening. We'll see, though, because, you know. Every key, you know, they practice with some really good teams. They are not a bad team at all. Chris is going to grab it. Send it to the left tunnel. Caught by Aiden. Aiden, oh, Aiden loses it. And Phantom ends up with oh. it. Tries for that mail slot, but does not make it. It bounces off shield. Condog grabs it, shoves it in for two points. It is now 19 to 8. 11 point lead with 50 seconds left on the clock. We can safely, solidly say that round one is going to go to the Pittsburgh Panthers, but let's see if EK Oxygen does come out of there. Still swinging, still fighting as they have been doing. CJ with the disc, going to send that one across the arena, down through the tunnel, but it's going to be grabbed by Condog and the stack. And they are sending that one through. Nice interception there by the pa uh, nope just kidding by i was gonna say by oxygen fantastic interception <laughs> but the panthers took it right back sending another one into the goal wow this is a good team this, this is a lot better team than i expected when we were setting up this cast i am impressed with just a dozen seconds left every key oxygen is on the joust chris has it and oh instantly loses it phantom's gonna go for that three points closing it out 25 Two eight. This round is over. It is, but you know what? A lot of times we see during that during this pause right now, the team they, they come back out as a different team, and a lot of times they are able to figure out what they did in round one that wasn't working, what they did that was working, and they're able to modify their play style to adapt and to be able to fight back. So I'm really hoping that Oxygen comes out here in round two with uh with a vendetta to and you know wanting to prove something and and uh fights hard so that would be lovely i'd love to see a, a third round right here in this first match of the evening i was to watch the uh, every key team practicing ahead of time and i don't want to give out their secrets but they're not a bad team they're a very good team they play very well i don't know if it's just the particular mix of teams that we see here that that maybe has them a little off balance but they're gonna adapt. They will do better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, they're ranked 66. That's that's not bad. There's a lot of teams in in VRML, and to be in the top 100 is it's pretty solid. So you know, they're they're definitely they're definitely doing a fantastic job. Um, I don't know. Maybe oh, we're gonna pause here for a little longer, which is cool because you do get that free pause in between rounds, which is nice. You can pause up to four additional minutes in addition to the one that you already have. So. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's talk for a second really quickly about our incredible sponsors here while we're waiting. VR Cover, HyperX, Asterion, VRWare, and Arma. And they are fantastic. I have an Arma jersey and I love it. So uh, definitely check them out. We greatly appreciate them and they help us help us do everything that we do here. So, yeah. Well, I have to show off my cricket jersey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That looks fantastic. A, a Walmart t-shirt and a cricket vinyl <laughs> made about two hours ago. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So what did you feel like um, like they were doing right? Both teams were doing right. What What did you see from them? Uh, I, was, I, I was very surprised. Uh, I have not heard anything about the Pittsburgh Panthers. I Well, other than the fact I live in Pittsburgh and... University of Pittsburgh is not far from me, but as far as the Echo Team Pittsburgh Panthers, I have not really heard anything about them until today. And wow, they're certainly an up and coming team. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them touching Diamond, maybe even getting into the uh, Challenger Cup. As far as every key, um, 
every key oxygen has been around for pretty much this entire season in one form or another. And they're like, I keep saying they're not a bad team. They're a very consistent team. They're a very structured team. I I'm not going to be surprised if we watch a second round that's much closer and much tighter. And if we see in every key team that finds the weaknesses of these Pittsburgh Panthers overcomes and wins a second round. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to come back uh, really hard here in round two and, and really battle it out and bring, bring their game. You know, they they definitely fought hard in round one. Pittsburgh just, uh, I think overwhelmed them a little bit. They, they shot a lot of threes and um, pull up the stats real quick on my side to see Ducky bringing in 16 points already. Uh, for for Pittsburgh, which is phenomenal, and yeah, you know, stuns are kind of remarkably low for for this match. I'm kind of surprised. Usually, we're seeing some double digits. We've only got Phantom with double digits right now in the stun category. Lots of saves going on, which is nice. Uh, a couple of steals from Pittsburgh. I don't see any steals yet for for Oxygen, but that doesn't mean that they won't uh, they won't get them. So we're fun. getting a sub in. Yeah, it looks it lo does look like it. So. We will uh, be right back into the game just momentarily. Who did they did they sub out? It looks like CJ no, left and Ryan is okay. in. There we go. So that is awesome. And we will be getting right back underway in just a second as they should be getting pretty close on time. But Three tell us about that pause rule, the normal pause rule. Well, there's, there's no such thing as a normal pause. <laughs> Every team has an option to take one time out between goals for up to five minutes. That could be for anything you want. It could be just because you're tired. It could be to sub in somebody, whatever. In addition to that, both teams have the option to take an additional four minutes between rounds. You can take four minutes between the first and second round and four minutes between the second and third round and the five minutes. Nice. Subbing. If you're subbing, if this is important, you can only have five people in the arena for up to 30 seconds for the purpose of subbing only. So you can't have your captain come in and give you advice and leave. But it looks like we're about to start back up. We sure are. And that's going to be a nice little neutral joust once again. We've got a, a few moments here before they do come out and... Uh, Yay! Echo, echo, echo. We do have a couple more matches after this, too. So um, we have a whole block coming in for you so you guys don't don't stray away. It's going to be lots of echo coming in tonight. They are on neutral joust right now as this round does begin, and that is going to be Panthers hitting it first. Do take possession of it. Phantom going to send that one all the way down. Nicely done into the hands of Zenzi right there outside the bubble. Zenzi going to cross it over to Ducky. An open goal just for a second, and that is enough time to get that disc in there. You know, when they were approaching that goal, when they were first approaching the bubble, I was surprised nobody took that three-point. It looked like they had an open goal, three-point shot. I just don't know why they didn't take it. Well, they still got the points. They're still up by two on the start. On the joust, it's going to be grabbed once again by Chris, who's going to send it to the floor, and it is missed. Those floor passes are really hard to catch. Ducky's able to recover in his own zone, and he's going to send it out. Picked up by Phantom. Oh, Phantom gets stunned by Aiden, who grabs the disc and sends it across to Bo to Ryan. Ryan's going to float it in, get on top of Ghost, walk it in. Oh, and it's stolen again by Ducky, who sends it clear out into the blue zone, but not the blue bubble. The stacks come in, and it's stolen back by Phantom, who takes a shot, but it does not get there. They have their back there. Ducky's going to grab it, send it back to a reset for Zenzi. Zenzi's going to draw out, pass it down to Ducky. Ducky's walking it in under the shield. Going to take a shot. Oh, and it's blocked. He does not make the shot. Now we're just going to have people chasing the floating disc. Zenzi grabs it down by Trench, passes it up to Ducky. Ducky's up by Ness, looking in, takes another shot, another ding. It's recovered by Eric, who sends it all the way out into the orange bubble. That disc was going to come right back out of the bubble, and it, Stacks did not come into that disc, which was surprising. Ducky does send that one down to Phantom. Phantom going to make the mail slot three. 
for the five point lead. Woo. After Amazing. all those dings, that was that was just, you know, you, you hit the ding ring so many times, like it's got to go in eventually, right? Yep. <laughs> you cannot you cannot make the goals you don't shoot. So there you go. That was amazing. That's gonna be Joust Advantage going back over to every key oxygen right now as Chris grabs that disc, sings, slings it down the arena into Eric's hands. That was gonna bounce into the bubble and off the back wall and across. Aiden does make that grab right there. Gonna send it in, but it's gonna ding off the ring and go back out of the bubble. Ducky does pick it up, sending it back through. Nicely done to Phantom in the midfield. Phantom down, moving down the arena, looking for the pass, probably telling his teammates to let's go. Somebody get in front of me so I have a, a pass option. That disc is gonna be right across the ceiling too. Ducky, Ducky gonna hold on to it for a second, bouncing it into Condog's hands there on the back wall. Does lose possession of it to Eric and makes the clear. And after Eric clears out, it does not quite get through the tunnel. It's going to be picked up by Phantom, who's going to have to fight. He loses it to Aiden on an attempt to pass it through. Aiden clears it clear out into the orange side, picked up by Eric. Eric's going to walk in the bubble over by post. Shoot, but it's saved by Zenzi. EK Ryan is able to pick it up, passes it back to... Oh, drop the disc. Eric, you drop the disc. Tries to pass it over, but those trench walls just jump in the way. They're just like Geo's. They're constantly on the move. <laughs> Aiden's able to grab it. Aiden's going to, oh, not send it in. Pass it to the shield. The shield passes it to Con Dog. Con Dog's going to do a little dodging. Try to clear it out. Not going to get out. And over to Nose. And who grabs it? It's grabbed by Phantom. Phantom's going to send it clear out, but it's grabbed by Aiden. Aiden's going to look for his uh, teammates, pass it across, picked up by Eric. Er oh, Eric loses it to Zenzi. Zenzi shoots it into the Every Key Oxygen bubble. Hand it off to Condog, who makes a shot. It does not get in. And Aiden's going to clear it back out. And this was going to be right there, bouncing into the orange zone, right outside of the bubble. And uh, they are able to make that. Oh, just kidding. Eric picks it up instead. I thought the P Panthers were going to grab that one. They did not. And that disc is going to be right there outside of the bubble where who does pick it up. It's intercepted by the Panthers once again. Sent back. But Eric's there. Have no fear. Going to send that one all the way down. What another grab there by Zinzi right down at the bottom of the bubble. Going to send that one down for the clear. Ducky with the shot. And it's good. Holy cow. He makes those. That and it, wow, that was a beautiful shot. Yeah, I have to say, it feels like this round is going a little slower than the previous round. Like we're five minutes in. The score is only eight to zero. I mean, relative to the last round, that's a low score. Right. On the joust. Looks like EK Gris. Chris is going to uh, quarterback that one, send it through to the right tunnel. And it's going to be picked up by Eric, who sends it into the orange bubble, but not near the goal. Ryan's going to jump around, grab it. Send it to, ooh, a pass across to Nest, but the only person he hits is Condog. Eric's able to recover. Eric's gonna dance around on the uh, ceiling there, probably looking for a nice pass, but loses it to Zenzi. Zenzi bounces it out. It's outside the bubble, but not outside of the side. Chris is able to grab it, two points. It is eight to two. We are five minutes and 30 seconds into the second round. Well, they did find some mojo there and get on the board. EK Oxygen did indeed. And, uh, you know, that, that that might just be what they needed right there. That's going to jumpstart them and, and get them moving. And uh, that's going to be Zenzi now with the joust. Going to send that disc, but it's not quite going to get out. And Eric does pick it up, sending it all the way through. And it is good for oh. every key oxygen. What a nice shot. Now we have a game. There is only a three-point differential. Every key can catch up and win this game. There's almost four minutes left. They can do this. We can have our round three. On the joust, Zenzi quarterbacks the disc. It's going to hang over here by Ness trying to draw out somebody. And doesn't quite get them out, but is able to pass it out to the right side. Condog picks it up and is going to send it up, up, up to nobody. But it is in the blue bubble. Unfortunately, so is every key oxygen. However, Ducky's able to pick it up and after stunning, loses it. Aiden grabs it, tries to clear it out, but Double Diamond jumps in the way. Looks like it's going to be grabbed by Zenzi, who gets stunned out. So Aiden's able to clear it all the way out into the orange bubble. And here come the stacks. Only one person gets the right way, though. 
Ryan grabs it, walks it in, two points. We have a one point game. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. What a comeback they have made here in the second round. Two minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock. They are one point, not even a whole goal. One point, I mean, we have to get the goal, but you know what I mean. <laughs> one point down as Zinzi does come out and grabs that disc, not getting any heat yet from Oxygen. And they are going to send that disc across to Condog. Condog gets the pass off, but Chris is there to make the grab. Going to send that one back through. Going to bounce right there in the midfield as Ryan grabs it, but loses possession to Condog, who's going to send that one all the way into the bubble. And they are there, but can they get it first? No, that is going to be EK Ryan making that save and sending it back out. But Phantom is there one more time. Going to send that one in, stretching that lead. They are not done. Another beautiful three-shot point. What Three-point shot. That was... Wow. You know, but every key, they, they have picked up their game. They are giving the Pittsburgh Panthers a run for their money now. I'm glad to see this. I'm glad to see what this team can do. Chris is able to pass it out to the left tunnel. It's not going to be picked up. Somebody sitting there in trench is unable to pick it up. Ducky grabs it and sends it back to the blue side. But Ryan's there waiting, grabbing it and sending it back into the orange bubble where Zenzi's able to grab and send it right back. Oh, not quite all the way out. Phantom there grabs it and sends it into the blue bubble. Here come the stacks and Ryan sends it right back. Oh, wait, Phantom's there, sends it, passes it over to Ducky, makes a shot toward the goal, but it is saved and cleared out the left tunnel. It's gonna be grabbed by Condog. Condog's gonna send it back toward the bubble, but not quite in. EK Aiden's able to grab it, but wait, Zenzi shoots, ding ring, not quite points there. Phantom gets stunned out, loses the disc. Now Ducky loses the disc, and Chris is able to send it almost all the way out, but not quite. Down by trap, Zenzi clears it, sends it over toward the bubble. Picked up by Ducky, Ducky's gonna juke around, pass it up to Condog, who makes a shot toward the backboard. It does not go in, it bounces out. Phantom grabs it and looks like he got stunned out. And we have a little uh, ping pong going on back and forth. Aiden's able to, oh, not quite clear it out. Boy, they, they, they're just having a real hard time clearing right now. Phantom's over by table, passes it over to Condog, who makes that mail slot shot. It is now a 14 to 7 game. There are less than 30 seconds left. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, EK Oxygen did make a fantastic comeback there in round two, but the Panther, Panthers just dug in deep and, and they brought it right back. Taking that lead by seven is, is pretty phenomenal. And that disc is going to be right there into the midfield. Five seconds left on the clock. Ducky, will he take one more shot? He will. Going to send that one to Phantom. And that is a quite the save by Chris. That's going to be the round heading over to the Pittsburgh Panthers. Nicely done indeed. You guys, we've got two more matches for you, so don't go far. We will be literally right back in just a second with our next match.
VRWare. Our passion is for the future. Here's how to get the Spark Mini Companion app for your Quest headset. First, go into your Echo Arena settings and turn API access on, then restart Echo Arena. Also, your phone and Quest do need to be on the same internet connection. For Android, go to the Play Store, search Spark Mini. For iOS, click the first link in the description, click View in App Store, and download Test Flight. Now go back to the page and click Start Testing. It's going to open in Test Flight. Install Spark Mini and open it. OK, next, start testing. Now you want to click this Find Quest IP button, but if it doesn't work, it's not a problem. We just have to manually find the Quest IP. Go into your Quest settings, then Wi-Fi settings, click on the Wi-Fi network you're currently connected to, scroll down, you'll see Advanced Settings, open that up. Scroll down more and you will see IP address. It should start with 192.168. Note this IP, go back into Spark Mini, Click settings in the bottom right and input the IP address from your quest. So I'm currently in a private arena in Echo. If you don't see anything here, you need to join a lobby or match. To join Sparklinks, go into the share match tab, paste your Sparklink and click join. And once again, you do need to be in a lobby or match to do this. Good evening, everybody. Thanks and welcome back. We have another fantastic match for you here tonight. I'm Jeep Girls, and with me in the casters booth is Pinch Nerve. Taking on the cams is Wonder T Man. This is going to be Sane Wolves as they take on Tachyons. Tell us about those teams. Well, we have the Sane Wolves. Sane Wolves were just eliminated from the Challenger Cup. They're a good team. They're currently ranked 14th. That's the fourth in the ladder. Tachyons, meanwhile, the Diamond 2 team, they're ranked 18th. They did not quite make the Challenger Cup. It looks like they were two slots removed from uh, qualifying. I have to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about these two teams, Jeep Girls. Well, you know what? We've watched them play a couple of times, and uh, we definitely got to see a lot of Sane Wolves over the past weekend. And I think, that, I think we're in for a pretty good treat here between these two teams. 14th and 18th is not too far apart. And I think these guys are going to 
do a great job. So that's going to be Zizzy, Army, Octavius, Rex, and Shiny over on the Tachyons. And playing for Sane Wolves tonight is Jax, Narwhal, Almond, and Cam Spin. So we are going to jump right in there and get busy in this match as they do come out here for Neutral Joust right here to start this one off. And that's going to be Zizzy. Sends that one down the floor there. But uh, Narwhal is going to pick that one up and, and steal the disc. And it's going to be grabbed by Narwhal once again, sent into the orange side. Uh, Jax is going to grab it, walking into, oh, and he's not able to grab it, but Cam Spin is and sends it in for the first two points of the game. The Sane Wolves are up by two in the beginning. They are indeed, and that's going to be Joust Advantage going over to the Tachyons right now as they are going to come out swinging. 30 seconds in is not too bad for that first goal, and I'm sure the Sane Wolves are happy about it. But right now, Octavius Rex has that disc. Going to duck and dive and get away from the Sane Wolves player there. Shiny now with the disc moving down the arena. Stacks are coming in. That disc goes down to Army on the floor. Army feeling a little bit of heat and uh, losing possession of that disc. They are everybody's trying to get to it right now, and it is back in the hands of Army one more time. Gonna send that one off the backboard, and it's gonna come back out of the bubble. Picked up by Zizzy, passes it over to Army, but Army gets stunned out, grabbed by Narwhal, and sent out of the blue side. Zizzy's able to grab it, try to send it back, but Jax grabs it, takes a shot, three points. It is now a zero to five game. We're only a minute and 20 seconds in. That was a beautiful shot. Beautiful indeed, stretching that lead to five. Still plenty of time on the clock though, and I expect to see Tachyon's return fire any minute now as they are gonna have the joust right here. And that's gonna be Octavius Rex holding that disc since it across the arena there to his teammate. Zizzy and Zizzy is going to pass it back as that stack does move in, but they do not quite connect that. And that is going to be Narwhal right with her with the disc, right into the bubble, moving towards the goal. Going to sink that one in, taking that lead by seven with just two minutes down on the clock. It was a very critical mistake. You, you've got to get that disc out of your side when you have the joust advantage and turning it over right there, right at your shield, right in front of the bubble. Absolutely disastrous mistake. On the joust, Octo Octavius Rex is gonna grab it, gonna walk it across, maybe a little fake on the pass, send it over to the right tunnel. It's gonna get all the way over to Army, who's sending it down, but it does not quite connect. Fortunately, Zizzy's able to grab it, send it up to Army. Army's gonna look for a pass, send it right back down to Zizzy, and back to Army. This is gonna pass it back and forth and then walk it into the bubble, coming up from behind. Shot, two points. It is a two to seven game. Tachyons are on the board. They are on the board with seven minutes left. I'm hoping that will they'll start rolling them and get the get the get the disc rolling, I should say, as they uh, are gonna Sane Wolves gets that joust here for the first time in the match. I'm losing my words. They are going to come out swinging right there as Cam Spin sends that one down to Jax. Jax crosses down to Narwhal, looking for Armando right there across the arena. But Zizzy's going to steal that one back, sending it all the way into the bubble right there with Army sinking it in, shrinking that lead to three. You can't tell me there wasn't a little flare there, just gently putting it into the bottom pocket. Kind of like, aha, uh -huh, you can't do anything about this. Pizzazz. Four. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to have the Sane Wolves on the Joust advantage again. And on the Joust. Going to be picked up by Cam Spin, sent straight down into the trench to Jax. Jax sends it up to Narwhal. Narwhal over to Almond. Almond's going to shoot. Oh, but there's nobody there to grab the pass. Octavius Rex grabs it for Tachyons and sends it clear over into the blue side. Not quite into the bubble. Here come the stacks. Almond grabs it, sends it over. Look, looked like they were going to do a little dribbling, but didn't quite work out. Send it over to Jax, who is able to do the dribble. Walk it into the bubble, pass it over to Jax. Jax is not able to make the shot, gets stunned out, and Zizzy recovers. Going to look to send this out of their side. Stop playing with it and send it out if you want to get it out. Passing <laughs> it over are. to... Oh, go ahead. No, go. You're, you're good. Go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Dance it over the Army. Army sends it out. Uh, oh, but it's going to be grabbed once again by Cam Spin and the Sane Wolves. That disc is right there, bouncing back into the midfield area as Army does pick it up, getting it off before the stack comes in over to Zizzy. Zizzy going to send that one high. 
to a shiny, getting a lot of heat from that stack. And Jax is going to make that grab, sending it back out through the tunnel and all the way down into the orange bubble. That stack does come in pretty quick there. They're still not connected, though, and that disc is free. There we go. Cam Spin does pick it up, moving back towards the bubble. Going to find Jax on the floor, sinking that one in, taking the lead again. Stretching it, I should say, to five. You, you know, I, I'm not a great Echo player. I, I have to admit that. And I was always taught if the disc is in your side, sure, you want to slow it down. You want to see what you're doing. But if you have somebody right there on top of you, don't hold on to the disc. Pass it. Pass it to a teammate who isn't covered. Mm -hmm. But, you know, these are better players than me. They probably know a lot better oh. than I do. And, oh, a three-point shot. It is only seven to nine now. Great shot. Wow. Okay. That one's going to bounce off of his head, though, and you know those hurt. A pretty good bit, but that is uh, points are points, and they're only down one goal. So we will see what Sane Wolves can do with that as they do come out quickly, getting that disc down through into uh, it's coming right back though, and that's going to be Shiny picking that one up, sending it in. Intercepted by Narwhal. They're going to send all the way back into the midfield area there. Cam Spin does get it all the way through, and it is going into the orange zone as the stacks do come in. A little bit of an overshot there, but Octavius Rex is there to pick it up. Octavius looking for the, the play here as that stack does move in on him. It's going to send that one across the arena there to Zizzy. Zizzy now trying to draw that stack out. Going to send that one down to the tunnel to Shiny. Shiny just uh, checking to see where everybody is. You can see him looking around the arena a little bit. That stack getting broken up in the midfield there. Going to walk down the arena. Sends that one to Zizzy on the floor. Zizzy crosses over to Army. Army sends it back up to Shiny. What a play to tie it up. And we do have a tie game now. They have come back. They've tied it up. Let's see what the Sane Wolves do with their joust advantage. In just a couple seconds here. Three, two, one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. On the joust. It's going to be sent straight down to Narwhal. Narwhal sends it across to a stack through the right tunnel. But the Geo jumps in the way. Shiny's able to knock it back into the blue bubble. And, oh, it's not going to get into the goal. But it is going to float around. It's going to not be recovered by the Sane Wolves. It is recovered by Octavius Rest, who knocks it down. Hands it over to Camspin, unfortunately. But the Geo's on the side. And Allman's able to pick it up and not send it out because Zizzy's right there grabbing it and going to do a little the shielding there send it over to shiny shiny's going to walk it across send it over back to zizzy zizzy's going to try to draw some people out open up some passing room send it across to uh, octavius rex octavius rex bouncing over there by the boot and it's oh nice save by Jax. beautiful save sent out by almond all the way into the tachyon side of the arena zizzy's able to grab it looks like it was a reset pass but nobody caught it Going to be grabbed by Narwhal. That's not what you want. Passed over to Jax, who's going to send it down. Cam Spin shoots it in for two points. It is a 9-11 game. It definitely is. What a match indeed. A minute 45 seconds, a minute 40 seconds left on the clock. One goal difference. Sane Wolves are pull, have pulled ahead, and it is right here. Square Dash, I do see you there in the Twitch chat. We will talk about that in just a second. But first, Octavius Rex has that disc, sends it down to Zizzy. Zizzy going to send that one all the way down to Shiny, going to cross the arena. Nice. Oh, did I was going to say nice pass, but it did not quite connect. Still got the point, the, the job done, though. That disc was right there in the bubble as Jax picks it up, making that clear. Going to send it all the way back up into the trap area. That's going to be picked up by Nar Narwhal, sending it into the bubble. Dax are coming in now. Octavius Rex is there to make the clear. Sends it back to Shiny. Shiny trying to draw out that uh, the offending players there. Going to send that one over across the arena to Narwhal. Gonna, it's changing possession so incredibly fast. These guys are just absolutely killing each other, stealing that disc from each other, and trying to make sure that they take possession. Very nice stacks coming in from St. Wolves right there. And uh, Jax with the disc. Oh, they're dribbling. Nicely done. But they do lose possession, and Shiny takes the disc, sending it off the back wall. Is it going to go in? Not quite. And what a grab by Jax. Blue clears it out of there. 
absolutely amazing. And then over to Narwhale, who sends it through mid into the orange side. But here come the stacks again. Allman grabs it, sends it across. Saved by Shiny. Shiny's going to shoot it back. Picked up by Zizzy, who loses it almost instantly to Allman, who sends it down to the floor. There's nobody waiting for it. It's going to float around by Shield. Grabbed by Narwhale, who loses it to Octavia Trex, who clears it out the right tunnel. Grabbed by Jax. Jax sends it back over to Narwhale. Narwhale sends it back toward the orange bubble. Stacks are coming in, but we're almost out of the time. It's not going to make a difference, or is it? No, it's not. Round one is over. That is going to be Sane Wolves taking that win there in round one. They were, they were, woo, they were cutting it close there. That was pretty aggressive right there, trying to get uh, one more point on the board. And everybody wanted it because Tachyons wanted to take the win and they wanted to take that round. And of course, Sane Wolves wanted to hold that lead. Fall Fest, Squirt. Fall Fest? You want to know about Fall Fest? I can tell you about Fall Fest. October the 15th, it is going to begin. Six incredible weekends, three leagues, one passion. And that is going to be Pavlov season nine. Uh, onward season 13, you know, and I, I 13 seasons to me just absolutely blows my mind. Following it up, ending with Echo, Arisons, Echo Arena season finals on November the 20th. And uh, that's season six. I can't believe we're already through season six. Breathtaking. So that is going to be Fall Fest. And make sure you are here. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fun. And it's going to be festive. So yeah. Oh, it's absolutely going to be fun. All these different VR ML leagues all together, all playing over the course of, this, of a few weeks. It'll give our audience, it'll give all the audiences a, t a chance to experience through the casting, through the streams, all the different leagues that VRML carries. And you know, they've been around for five years. This league has been around for five years. This is not just a, a quick league. I mean, these guys have definitely put in the time and um, this league has grown astronomically and it's so cool and so so nice to be a, a part of. That's gonna be a quick joust there by the Tachyons and they are gonna grab that disc. Is he gonna send it all the way across the arena to Shiny? Shiny crosses, oh, but it does not quite connect. And that disc is gonna be back out of the bubble with a stack coming in. Stacks uh, right there for the Sane Wolves. Going to send that one through. Not quite going to make it as far as they expected, but still makes it pretty far. Amando with the disc on the floor. Sends it to Jax. Jax moves it back. Oh, not quite going to connect that pass. And that disc is going to be right there into the hands of Shiny, who makes the clear. It's going to be grabbed by Narwhal, who sends it right back into the orange side. Octavius Rex is able to grab it, though. Send it back to the blue side. We're going to play a little ping pong, sending it back and forth. Going to be grabbed by Jax. Looks like he's going to try to clear it right back out across into their left tunnel. Not quite going to make it. Going to get stuck over by Popcorn. Zizzy's able to grab it. Oh, and the notorious Nugget jumps in the way of the pass. Jax grabs it, sends it back into the orange side. About a little bounce off a star there, and it's going to be grabbed by Zizzy, who's sending it right back to a teammate. Army grabs it, clears it to the blue side going to quite make it into that blue bubble but Narwell is there along with his partner Allman sending it right back oh sending it across and why did Jax drop that Jax is going to grab it send it out the orange side and let's see oh stacks are there cam spins just going to drop it <laughs> right in the goal so casually haha uh -huh, I got two points <laughs> and we have the same wolves up by two they are up by two. They're going to take the lead here in round two. Best two of three, as always. And they still have eight minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock as Tachyons do get the joust right here. Octavius Rex quickly sends it across the arena, but the Geo does get in the way and intercepts that disc, sending it back down. And it is in the bubble, moving moving quickly towards the goal. Everybody is there. What a save! Holy cow by Zizzy. Going to send that one right back through to the midfield to Army. Waiting patiently. Army sends that one all the way through upper trench. And it's in the goal. Oh, that was great. That was, you know, that was absolutely 100% intentional. You know it was intentional. It's always wow. intentional. Oh, my gosh. That was Tachyons a beautiful take the lead. That was beautiful. So we're going to see a rare Sane Wolves <laughs> joust. It's going to be grabbed by Cam Spin, sends it down toward the floor, sent over to Jax, who sends it to Narwell, but it's grabbed by the Tachyons. Fortunately for the Sane Wolves, Jax is able to get in the way. 
Zizzy grabs it back though, and Double Diamond jumps in the way. The stacks are, <laughs> we got a little floating fest going on here. Almond is able to push it back into the orange side. Jax is gonna send it into the orange bubble. Does not get near the goal though. And let's see who has it now. It's Cam Spin. Oh, but Cam Spin loses it. We have a couple steals going back and forth. Not sure who had the disc last, but it's floating free now. Grabbed by Narwhal. Narwhal sends it over to the nest. Who's gonna bring it up to Jax? Who's gonna shove it into the goal from above? It is two points. The Sane Wolves have recovered their lead. They have recovered their lead. That was very nice. A nice play indeed. Very well connected passes there to get that, that disc in the goal. A lot of nice teamwork. Indeed, uh, from the same Wolves, that was lovely. And that's going to be Tachyons coming out with that disc right there. Octavius, Re Octavius, holy cats. Did the Southern just come out or what? Octavius Rex with the disc, sends it across the arena to Shiny. Shiny crosses back to Zizzy. Zizzy going to make the play, sending it down through the trench. But the stack from Sane Wolves picks it up. And Narwhal has the disc now, moving all the way back through. Going to send that one high and wide to Cam Spin. Going to take the shot, but it's going to go wide and back out of the bubble. And Army is able to grab it and clear it out. But wait, there's the Sane Wolf stack. And they grab it and a little bouncing back and forth. Shiny is able to clear it back to the Sane Wolf side. And a little bouncing back and forth once again. And Shiny has the disc now on the ceiling. Going to juke around, try to draw out that stack. Send it straight down into Zizzy's hands, who sends it right back to Shiny. Shiny's going to walk it into the goal. It is now five to four. Ooh, the pendulum does swing the other direction as the tachyons take the lead here. Five and a half minutes left on the clock. Joust advantage going back over to the Sane Wolves. And uh, we'll see what they do with it. I'm hoping that I'm hoping they score another one. I love back and forth games like this. They are the absolute best. And these teams are fairly closely ranked to uh, definitely give us that kind of a match. That's going to be a lost disc right there. But Narwhal does get his hands on it, sends it all the way in. But the stack is there. And that stack's there too, as Jax does take possession of the disc, sending it over to Narwhal. Going to cross that one back. And it's going to be picked up by Octavius Rex. Octavius Rex is going to send it right into the blue bubble, and it's going to get slammed by Zizzy. It is now a 7-4 game. Wow, that was just really quick. It was, but you know what? St. Wolves just need a nice three-point goal here, and we've seen them make those. So we shall see. I don't know. This is exciting. We might get around three tonight. Finished. Absolutely. Cam Spin's going to grab it on the joust, but it's grabbed by Zizzy, who's going to send it toward the goal. It doesn't go in, but Octavius Rex is able to shoot it for another two points. It is now 9-2-4 in favor of the Tachyons. I see your question there, Ninja Tim. That would be saying Wolves. They took round one, 9-11, just by one goal, and now they are down by five here in round two. Four minutes left on the clock, though, as Sane Wolves do get the joust advantage. That's going to be Cam Spin sending that one across the arena, but it's going to get stuck on a Geo and come back into the the blue zone as Zizzy does pick the disc up right there for someone to pass to. Going to send it across the arena there to Shiny Shiny. Oh, approaching with style, but it does not quite make it in. And that disc is right there in the midfield with the stack coming in. Narwhal going to send that one forward. <laughs> loses possession though to Shiny, who loses possession to Jax with an open goal. It's a one goal game once again. Wow, these teams are very closely matched. The stack work between them is amazing. They are just outrunning the disc, grabbing it from midair and sending it right back. I, I, I This is master level stacking. Well, not quite, but very close. Octavius Rex is able to grab it on the joust, pass it over to Shiny. Shiny's going to send it down to the floor, but oh, it bounces off the edge of Trench, and it's recovered by the Sane Wolves. Sane Wolves going to uh, lose it back and forth a little bit, and eventually recovered by the Tachyon. It's going to make that, oh, beautiful three-point shot off the backboard. It is now 12-7. Wow. Two minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock. Dane Wolves are down here in round two. Ooh, round one was so close. This this really could be anybody's anybody's match right here, and we very well may get a third round, which would be fantastic. That disc is going to be right there into the orange zone, but Army does pick it up, sends it all the way back through to Octavius Rex for an open goal for the three, stretching that lead Ooh, to eight. Well, I got to say, this second round, Tachyon's most certainly 
want this second round a lot more than the same wolves do right now. We're going to have the same wolves once again on it. You know, the beginning of the round, I was saying a rare Sane's wolf joust advantage. And look at them now. They're just, <laughs> they're stuck. They keep doing it. It's going to get passed from Narwhal into the orange bubble, but they're not able to recover it. It's going to be grabbed by Shiny on the Tachyons. It's going to walk it back in the trap area, pass it across. Oh, but it's grabbed by Jax on the Sane Wolves, who's going to make that shot. But no, it does not go in. Army's able to grab it. Looks like Army's going to send it out through the right tunnel. And oh, it does not get out. It's stuck up in popcorn. Cam Spin has it. It's going to make that shot. It's grabbed by Jax. Whew. And another. And there, two there's Narwhal <laughs> coming in for the two. Wants to uh, wants to take this this round. I think I think they're done. They they'd like to wrap it up and go have some dinner. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. That's gonna be Tachyons coming out now with the Joust advantage. They are up a fair bit right here. Um, six points. They need two threes in order to tie this one up. Otherwise, we're gonna go to a third. Octavius Rex sends that one across the arena to Zizzy, but it's not quite gonna make it out of the tunnel. Gonna have to quickly send that one back again. But Sane Wolves are getting in their way. Gonna send that one all the way down to Army. Army is looking for the pass right now. They don't really have to do anything. They could just burn the clock, but Shiny oh. wants to sink another one, stretching that lead one more time. Yeah, we are definitely gonna see a round three. The Tachyons are now up 17. Two, nine, and once again, we have the Sane Wolves on the Joust advantage. Hopefully they can get this across, although they might just try to get a little momentum here. It's gonna be grabbed by Cam Spin, sends it out through the left tunnel, but does it not quite make it. Octavius Rex grabs it, sends it back into the blue bubble. Grabbed by Army, Army shoves it in, two points. It is now a 19 to nine game. We're, we're getting, oh, we're just a 10 point advantage, but there's only 15 points. This, this round is pretty much over. I concur with that assessment. Indeed. I would say uh, that's a pretty good evaluation of the clock there. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, we're going to a third round. Woo. I don't know. They're probably not as excited right now as we are <laughs> about third rounds. I don't we know. Get to watch. I know, right? Twitch chat. Do you guys like when you get to the third round? I love it. Like, my adrenaline's pumping. And then, you know, you're just, it's intense and everybody starts fresh and it doesn't matter what happened in round one and two, you just get to, to go with round three. Or I know you don't for this game, but in, in your games when you're playing, do you guys like third rounds? I'm, I'm curious as, as if it was just me. My third, my favorites are third round overtime. I, I totally thrive on playing in a third round overtime. Those are just the best. The only time I like a third round is if I lost the first round. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Everybody wants to win the first two, but hey, then I'm like, oh yes, the third round, I have a chance. I think they're fun. I think they're fun. I think they, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just the thrill of the game, right? You know, you you're not sure if you're gonna win. You're not sure if you're gonna lose. Everything depends on the choices that you make and the chances that you take. And you have to you have to play smart and you have to keep your head about you and and you have to just jump in there and go for it. And I think that that's kind of what makes it. And our team, I don't know about a lot of these teams, but our team, we always have a good time. So when we get to an overtime, we're usually wow, screaming and yelling at each other and, and yucking it up and having a good time. So I, I don't bet know. you the players there are, are, are appreciative that they're not hearing all that pressure. You have to keep your head about you. You have to concentrate. You can't mess this up because if you do, it's all over. <laughs> no, usually it's, you know, we get a little too cocky. We're like, oh, we got this. We got this. And I'm like, no. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't jinx it. Never jinx it. That was a really weird joust by Tachyon. They went up, they still recovered, they got a three-pointer, but I've never seen that kind of neutral joust before where you don't go after the disc. Yeah, that was wild, and that's gonna be Tachyon's getting that first goal for three points. They did that pretty quick. That was 15 seconds in, and they were already on the board here in round three. So quite a different Quite a difference from what we saw in round one and round two. Well, round two, I should say, was was really hot for them, but uh, quite a difference from round one for sure. Dizzy with the disc now going to send that one back, but it's going to get stuck right there into the trap area. Army does make that clear, sending it all the way down into the bubble. It is going to bounce across the arena and back out of the bubble where they are racing to get to it. Narwhal is going to pick it up first, though. Sends it out to... Um, a Geo. It's going to get stuck on a Geo right there, and Army's going to have to pick that one up, sending it back for a reset there to Zizzy. Nice choice. Wise decision, I think. 
busy moving forward and looking for the play. Squirt is begging to play in the Twitch chat, by the way. Uh, that disc is going to go across to Octavius Rex, but intercepted by Narwhal and going to send that one back high. It's going to be grabbed by Jax. He's going to try to send it down, but it gets stuck at mid. Uh, looks like we're going to be picked up by Jax. Jax again tries to send it through mid, but again, a Geo jumps in the way. Octavius Rex is able to grab it, send it over to Shiny. Oh, what a beautiful save behind the goal. Clear it out, but Octavius Rex grabs it, sends it back to Army. Army's going to, oh, and he misses his pass. It's free floating, grabbed by Jax, who's going to try to send it out. It's up in the popcorn area. And it's just a free floating disc now, grabbed by Almond. Almond sends it straight down into the tunnel. You get a little jumpiness of the disc there, but it is in the orange side. And here comes Jax, who's going to shoot it in for two points. The Zane Wolves are on the board. They are indeed just a one point game once again. These are the ones we love the most. Seven minutes, 45 seconds left on the clock. That was a lot slower than what we've seen out of both of these teams. That took that took a couple of minutes to get to get them on the board here. So that's interesting indeed. Uh, Octavius Rex with the disc there on Joust. Gonna send that one through the tunnel to Zizzy. Zizzy gonna cross across the arena to Shiny. Shiny looking to get rid of that stack that is attacking him so fiercely there. Gonna send that one back. Shiny again with the disc, sends it back to Zizzy. Zizzy going to send it all the way down to the floor there to Army. Dropped it very low. Army going to send it back for a nice reset to Zizzy. Zizzy crosses. They are keeping that stack occupied for sure. Will they be able to get it in? Yes, they will. Shiny with the goal. St. Wolves has definitely uh, got that stack chasing the disc. and That could work out for you, but if you get one person in that stack stunned out, You've lost your defense. You've basically lost two people then. So sometimes it's not the greatest choice. On the same Wolves Joust, it's going to be grabbed by Cam Spin, who sends it right over to Narwhal. Narwhal over to mid. It's going to get oh, grabbed by Narwhal again, sent into the orange side and into the orange bubble where an orange player is waiting. Army grabs it, sends it out, grabbed by Shiny. Shiny's going to clear it through mid all the way across. And it's going to bounce around in the top there. Narwhal is able to recover it. It's going to send it right back into the Tachyon side. It's going to bounce around in the popcorn area. Our army is able to grab it. It's going to send it straight back and pass over to Octavius Rex, Ooh. who makes that mail slot <gasps> shot, but it does not go in. Fortunately, Zizzy's able to grab it. It's going to reset it back to Shiny. Shiny's going to send it back to Zizzy. Zizzy's going to pass it across to Octavius Rex, who's now they're inside the bubble. Zizzy loses it to a stun, grabbed by Cam Spin, who's able to try to clear it out, but it's not going to get out. Octavius Rex is able to grab it and send it across. Nobody was waiting for that pass, but Shiny's able to grab it anyway. Pass over to Zizzy, who resets it back to Octavius Rex. Octavius Rex starts walking it forward, looking for that stack, waiting for it, trying to do a little evasive on that. Pass over to Shiny. Shiny's going to send it right back to Octavius Rex. And you see that Sane Wolf stack just chasing, chasing, chasing. And look, they, they made a pass. They make an error. You lose the disc. Cam Spin's able to grab it, but not clear it. Octavius Rex grabs it again, passes it over to Army. Army's bouncing around that shoulder and loses it to Allman, who attempts to clear it, but again, the geometry is in the way. Passed over to Army. Army's going to dance around looking for that goal. And oh, once again, it is not going in. They are trying so hard, and it's just not getting into the goal. We have a floating disc now. It's going to be grabbed by the Sane Wolves. Sane Wolves are finally, they're finally going to clear it out. They are going to clear it out. And also, I'd like to say, too, um... Who was it in the Twitch chat here? It was asking what this is. Roma 10. This is Echo Arena. It is a free game on the Meta Quest headsets. And if you have one, by all means, check it out. It's fantastic and super fun. And that was a great goal there by Camspin to, to, to put them just in one point again. Four minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock. And that's going to be Joust going over to the Tachyons. They're going to come out swinging here as Octavius Rex does grab that disc, sends it across Nicely to Shiny there in the tunnel. Going to send that one all the way down. Beautiful relay there to Army. Army on the floor looking for the pass back maybe. Looking for the reset. Trying to get rid of a, de a defender that was on him. Busy with the disc now. Going to send it back to Octavius Rex in the midfield area. 
Octavius Rex looking for the play. Going to send it forward to Army. Army moving into the bubble. Everybody's there. What a pass to Zizzy. Oh, no. Zizzy's going to march it back out, trying for the three, maybe. I'm not sure. That is going to be a ding off the ring, though. And that disc is anyone's. Just happens to be back into the hands of Zizzy once again after stunning out the Sane Wolves. Zizzy to Army. Army to another ding off the ring. Man, they're, they're having a tough time right now. They've, you know, but persistence pays. And when you keep shooting, it is going to go in just like that as Army gets another two on the board. Absolutely. And they're now ahead by three points. It's only one goal, but there's only three and a half minutes left. You know, I don't know if they're deliberately slowing this down or if they're just getting tired. I mean, I get tired after three rounds and this has been a pretty intense game so far. On the joust, Cam Spin sends it out and it gets stopped immediately by Octavius Rex. Fortunately, Sane Wolves are able to grab it right back and send it through. Zizzy's able to send it right back and back to Jax. It's like, <laughs> once again, we're playing tennis here, back and forth. Jax is gonna send it across, but it is not caught. Oh, and that disc is not gonna get into the hands of Narwell. Shiny's able to recover it, sends it across. It's gonna bounce around in that trap area. Grabbed by Narwell. Narwell's going to send it across to Cam Spin. Cam Spin over to Jax. Jax's going to walk into the bubble, but gets stunned out. Fortunately, grabbed by Almond. Almond gets stunned out. It's now grabbed by Narwell again. Narwell over to Jax, who's going to send it to Cam Spin. Two points. It is now a one point game. One full minute to get two points. Wow. Okay, two minutes, 21 seconds. If you're just joining us in the Twitch chat, Zane Wolves took round one. 9 to 11. Tachyons took round 2, 19 to 9. So here we are in round 3, 7 to 6, with two minutes left on the clock. Both teams want this win. Currently, St. Wolves are in 14th. Tachyons are in 18th. So this would uh, this would really help Tachyons to get this win. You know, I'm not sure really what it would do to St. Wolves after after one one game, but Shiny does have the disc right here on the in the in the middle of the blue zone. Oh my gosh, words again. Octavius Rex, what a save though by Sane Wolves, which was absolutely insane. And that disc is going to be right there in the blue zone, sending it down into the midfield as it does travel into the orange zone. Octavius Rex does pick it up, sends it back across into the tunnel to his teammate Shiny waiting there. Shiny going to bounce it, but it's not quite going to get where it needs to be, but that's okay. Army picks it up, but Almondo picks it up again, stunning him out. Jax sends that one back for the clear. Almondo, is that how you pronounce it? I, I'm sorry, Almondo. I've been mispronouncing your name. <laughs> it's going to be floating across. Almondo grabs it, passes it over to Jax. Jax is looking at the goal, but not going to make it. But Narwell is. Slam dunk from the back of the goal. We now have still a one-point game, but now it belongs to the same Wolves. So we're going to have to see, does Tachyons really want this game? They have 50 seconds. There is plenty of time to take this lead. Let's see what they do here. On the joust, Octavius Rex grabs it from the nest. He's going to send it over to the right tunnel. Passed over to Zizzy. Zizzy's going to send it across table to Shiny. Shiny's going to walk it forward, waiting for that uh, stack to come in, and it's not there yet. It's walking into the bubble, pass it across to Army. Two points. The Tachyons have regained the lead. Nine to eight. There are 30 seconds left. Wow. I mean, that's like all I can say is, wow, it is a race for time here. Right now, Tachyons are going to get this if Sane Wolves cannot score in 10 seconds. They have just a moment. They're going to quickly send it. Cam Spin and Narwhal and over across the arena to Jax. Jax, you're breaking our hearts here. Get that disc in, and they take the lead right there. What a buzzer beater. Holy cow. I cannot oh. believe what I just saw. Wow. wow! Well, I, I want to know who wanted this game the most, and apparently the Sane Wolves did. They <laughs> grabbed it at the last second. Literally. <laughs> wow, that was an amazing shot. What a great way to wrap up that third round. That was phenomenal. I mean, that was absolutely phenomenal. Those, those plays right there, breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Fantastic job. All right, you guys, we've got one more match coming in right now. We've just got the Spark Link. We will be back in a minute. We'll see you in just a second.
All right, you guys, I told you it would just be a second. It took us just a few minutes to grab that sparkling and get back in the arena. I am Jeep Girls, with me is Pinched Nerve, and on cams is the incredible Wonder T-Man, who we love and adore. Tonight, this is our final match of this casting block. We have Inversion as they take on every key Astatine. Pinched Nerve, tell me about these two. Well, everyone knows Inversion. Uh, everyone knows Phenom. Then you have every key Astatine who <laughs> just barely missed out on making the master tier in the most recent Challenger Cup. Uh, Inversion was there too, but you know, every key was right there, almost one game away from getting into the master tier. They were the third place team, which is, is unfortunate for them, but maybe they have something to prove now. We'll see in just a second. We will, and in version tonight, we have Phenom, Tusuna, Retro, and Yuji. And over on Astatine, we have Solar P, that Green Pigeon, Aviant, and Uni. So they are already underway here as that disc is right there into the blue zone. That is in the hands of Yuji. Yuji is going to send it across the arena there. As the stack does come in, Retro with the disc now moving down the arena. The stack does get stunned out, and the disc is going to ding off the ring and back out of the bubble. Where that Green Pigeon does pick it up, stacked with Aviant there. Attack of the stacks. Holy cats, they were fast. That's going to be that green pigeon with the disc moving into the bubble. Will he get the shot? Yes! Beautifully done, and that puts Astatine on the board first here in round one. With only 35 seconds to get two points. That's that absolutely amazing team, but you know what? We just started. It's, we just started. We're going to have a great game. Inversion is a good team. On the joust, it is grabbed by Retro. Retro sends it out the left tunnel, and it's going to be picked up by an upside-down Yuji. Yuji passes over to Tasuna. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I hope I got that correct. It's going to be hit up, grabbed off by uh, the Green Pigeon. Green Pigeon's going to send it over into the blue bubble to Aviant. Aviant tries to take a shot, but it does not get in. Bounces it back out of the bubble, and we have an open disc. It's grabbed by Tusuni. Tusuna, sorry. And it's... It's picked up by the that green pigeon, sends it over to Un, who sends it over to Solar P. Solar P is going to walk it into the bubble, looking for a pass, looking for somebody to hand that disc off to, might have a better shot, back out of the bubble, draw out that uh, little defense, and oh, and it's grabbed by Phenom, who clears it all the way out into the orange bubble, just below the goal, but the, oh, and they lose it again, and ding, they lose, oh, that's got to hurt. And another save by Solar P. Solar P is an amazing goalie. Cleared out by the Green Pigeon, sent over to Avian, and back into the inversion bubble. Stacks are coming in, grab two points by Solar P. He does it all. He saves goals, he makes goals. It is now a 4-2-0 game. And you know what? We do have a hydrate redeemed by Fendi. Fendi, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You have no oh, idea how my much. my goodness. <laughs> Squirt, I'm not sure. I already put my papers away from that match, but I apologize. Uh, Retro now with the disc sends that one down to Yuji. Yuji moving towards the goal, and uh, I'd like to note Yuji is no longer inverted. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, um, anyway, that green pigeon with the disc now going to send that one all the way down to Solar P, who sinks another one, stretching that lead to seven with still seven minutes left on the clock. You see Solar P doing a little dance there by the goal, kind of dancing to that. Mexican rhythm that goes on with the uh, scoring. <laughs> hey, if you have the tunes, you might as well dance with them, right? I like it. I'm, I'm dancing too, you know. Uh, on the inversion offensive doubt, doubt. Phenom grabs it, sends it across. It's going to be sent down. Oh, it's right into traffic. Gets stunned out. Grabbed by Aviant, who sends it right back to the Green Pigeon. Green Pigeon's going to send it up to and not quite make it. Oh. And grab by Un, another two points. Wow, they are just walking all over Inversion right now. They are. Inversion's Inversion. Inversion is, is a wild team to me. They're a lot of fun to watch. Um, and I have a feeling that, that round two may be theirs. <laughs> like hardcore. I just feel like they're gonna come out in round two and just and just kill it here. Avian with the disc now gonna send that one all the way back 
but Phenom is there to pick it up. Does not quite make it out of that tunnel as it does get stuck on, stuck on the lip, and that's going to be a ding off the ring there for Astatine. Going to send another one back off the backboard. Still does not quite go in. They're going to get a third time. It's going to ding off the ring again and back out as Aviant does pick that one up. And getting a lot of pressure from the inversion team there. The defense is really pushing them hard and gets in the way. They are going to slow that disc down just a bit, giving Tasuna the time to make the grab and make the clear, sending that one all the way through the tunnel, all the way down into the orange bubble. Stack race, though, and that green pigeon is going to make that clear. Right back into the hands of Yuji, who is there. Yuji down to Tasuna. Oh, what a save by Astatine. Going to clear that one all the way back through and into the blue zone. And stacks are going to overshoot, but Retro is able to back up and grab it, send it right back into the orange bubble. But the nugget jumps in the way. That nugget will always jump in the way. Yuji is able to grab it, send it back toward the orange bubble over to Tsuna. Tsuna is walking it in, going to look for that goal, send it in. Two points. Inversion is on the board. The score is now 9-2-2. Version is on the board. I think they're going to uh, start rolling here. We shall see. I, I really hope they do. I love, yeah, I love this game and I love watching these teams and it's been so nice getting to watch these teams as they move up through the ranks and get into Challenger Cup and all of that good stuff. And I have a feeling we will see both of these teams there once again at the end of this cycle. That Green Pigeon with the disc right there. Going to get some heat. Oh, as Phenom does make the grab. Sending it in. Going to ding off the ring, though, and not quite go in. Retro going to take another another shot at it. Not going to go in again. The third time's a charm. Tasuna going to move towards the goal. Sends that one across the floor to Phenom. Going to bounce back out of the bubble and be slapped out of the goal area by... Astatine. Retro is able to recover, send it back to Yuji. Yuji oh, passes it to Boot, but it bounces right off the Boot, who kicks it right about, right back to Yuji. Yuji sends it up toward the ceiling. Nobody's there, at least nobody on his team. Avian grabs it, sends it out, clears it all the way out into the blue side. Once again, a Geo gets in the way, bounces it around, grabbed by that Green Pigeon. That Green Pigeon passes it down to Aviant. Gonna dance around, stick it in the goal. It is two points. It is 11 to two. We have less than four minutes remaining. We do there nine points down in version is. And uh, still lots of time on the clock though for Echo. You know, that's only three goals, three nice long threes, which we know that they can take and they, we know that they can make. And that is going to be Phenom grabs that disc right out of the tunnel. Ooh, flying all the way down the arena, but Avian is there to grab it, sending it back to that green pigeon, gonna send it all the way to the backboard there as Solar P sinks another one. Quick, absolutely quick, amazing work. The stacks are great. They're putting it in. As long as that ding ring doesn't get in the way and the geometry stops jumping in front of the disc, <laughs> this would be a very quick game of scoring going back and forth. It's going to be grabbed by Fainon, who sends it out the left tunnel, and it's going to be grabbed. It looks like Yuji was able to pass it up to Tosuna. Tosuna sends it back to Fainon. Fainon's going to send it back to Retro. Retro's going to dance around, pass it up to Tosuna. Tosuna's walking into the bubble, pass it to Yuji. Slam go. dunk, two points, 13 to four. You know, you said that about the Geos moving around. Do you, have you seen the Harry Potter series? Yes. You know, the stairs that move. I feel like sometimes yes. when you come out in Echo Arena, then that's what the Geos do. And they move around and you, they're never where you expect them to be. But uh, Joust Advantage going back over to Astatine now as Solar P does come out swinging, just taking the time trying to draw that stack out. Will they get the broken stack? Yes, they broke that stack. That's going to be Avian sending that disc all the way down to Yoon. Yoon going to bounce it off the back wall. Going to get it. Oh, no. Going to overshoot that one a little bit. And Phenom does make that clear. Solar P is there on the other side of the tunnel, though, to make the grab um, and uh, get a little heat from Yuji. A lot of heat from Yuji as they do duke it out back there. Avian with the disc moving towards the goal. Does, uh, sends it back, but it's going to land in the hands of Tasuna. Nice grab. Yeah, it looks like that disc got, uh, once again, Nugget got in the way and it, it uh, shoved the disc out of... Uh, uh, out of the hands there, lost the disc, lost control from that. Avian's gonna have it, take the shot, not gonna make it, but it's still gonna go in by that green pigeon. Two points, it is now 15 to four, and I missed the timer, oh, only a minute and a half left. Only a minute and a half left here in round one, but 
It's always the best two of three rounds. So it's never over when you think it is. And that is going to be Inversion coming out with the Joust. Phanon with the disc. Ooh, they dropped and dropped. The, they dropped the disc down and dropped down on top of it. Love that. Very nice move indeed. And that's going to be Aviant picking that disc up, though. Going to send that one back into the hands of Yoon. Yoon's going to send it back. But it's going to bounce off of that bloody shield right there. As Phanon does make the reset to Tasuna. Sending that one back through the tunnel and all the way down the arena back into the hands of Solar P, though. Solar P, I'm really starting to think Solar P is the complete player. I've, I've seen them block goals. I've seen them make shots. They're very, very impressive. During the Challenger Cup, it was absolutely amazing the number of saves they made against any team they played. Avian has the disc, gonna bounce around Ness. Looks like they took a shot, but it went wide. Fortunately, oh no, Yuji gets in the way, clears it out with the slap. Retro is able to grab it, send it toward the goal, but it's not gonna go in. And they have a player there, but not able to recover. Sent back to that green pigeon, who's gonna send it right back to the inversion side. Beautiful 44 meter, three point shot. It is now 18 to four. This round might as well be over. Well, it almost is by the time they come out of the out of the tunnels there. They're not going to have just a moment. And that is going to be round one going to every key Astatine, 18 to four. But have no fear because we have players in the Twitch chat telling us that Inversion is a second round team. So it is anybody's game still. Might have yet another round three. I'm looking forward to it. You know what else Absolutely. I'm looking forward to? Um, fall Fest? Fall Fest. <laughs> Six weekends, three leagues, one passion. Starting October 15th and featuring the Pavlov Season 9 Finals. Onward Season 13 Finals. And ending with the Echo Arena Season 6 Grand Finals. Sunday, November 20th. VRML Fall Fest is a celebration of over five years of VRML growth through passion and dedication. More details, including detailed schedules and stream locations, will be available in the coming weeks. Absolutely. And you know what? It takes a lot of, of people here to run all of this. And we are so thankful for our incredible casters, mod team, the players, the viewers, everybody that's involved um, content creators, we have some fantastic ones and we're always looking for more. So if you're interested, please check out the VRML webpage at vrmasterleague.com and join the team. Uh, we'd love to have the more the merrier. So jump in there. We're going to be right back into the game right now as we do get neutral joust here on round two. And that is going to be Aviant with the disc quickly sending that one across the arena as a stack does come in super tight there. But uh, Inversion does make that clear. Aviant with the disc again, though. Going to send that one in, but it's not quite going to get where he needed it to be. It's going to be stuck in upper trap. They grab by that green pigeon who's going to dance around trying to make a pass out and oh, misses the pass. Who's going to grab it? It's going to be grabbed by that green pigeon again, who's able to send it across to Avian. Avian's going to walk into the bubble, make a shot, saved by, beautiful save by Retro. Clears it out the left tunnel, and here come the stacks. And I don't have a map. <laughs> That's going to be Yuji, who I was just reading from Yuji Mom, that Yuji is currently injured. So you know what? That's okay. Yuji just scored. Put Inversion on the board first here in round two. And whatever the injury happens to be, Yuji Mom, we hope it heals quickly. And Yuji is back to 100%. That's going to be Joust Advantage right now coming out for every key Astatine as they send that one across to that green pigeon. That green pigeon is being chased down by Yuji, who does get the stun off, but the disc is gone. Avian going to send that one all the way back off the backboard. Retro there to pick it up, though. Retro is getting some heat over there by Yoon, and Yoon has the disc. It's open goal, and it is tied right now. The, you know, Echo players, I don't think they do it intentionally, but when you watch them, it's like a little dance they're doing with each other, opposing each other. It, it, the style is really pretty. I think some of them actually practice that <laughs> on, on the Joust. Phaenom's going to send it out, but it's intercepted by Oon, who's able to send it right back into the blue bubble. Grabbed by, I'm not sure who grabbed it, but it was a self-goal by Yuji in the bottom pocket. 
It is now four to two in favor of every key as the team. Plenty of time left on the clock though in round two. As we have eight minutes, we are just two in to the round. And they are gonna, you know, you're talking about making it look like a dance. And I always say, it's one of those things, you know how when you're watching a, a really good athlete, they make things look easy and it gives you that false perception that you can do that. Echo to me is the same way. These guys are incredible. These players are so phenomenal. And you watch them and it makes you realize, it makes you think when they're really good, it makes you think, gosh, that looks easy. And then you try it and it is so not easy. Like it takes a lot of work. And um, yeah, not Richard, I'm not, I'm not. Let's not go there, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's gonna be Joust Advantage going over to Inversion right now with Phenom grabbing that disc. Phenom gonna send it across the arena, but it's not quite gonna make it out. And Yoon's gonna pick it up. Yoon and Retro going at it over there as uh, fighting it out for the disc. Phenom now makes that clear and sends it back through the tunnel. Or inside of the arena, it looks like it's gonna be grabbed by Retro, who's gonna send it right straight down into the goal. Instant two points by Retro. They're catching up. It is six to four already. Six over, almost seven minutes left. Yeah, we have a lot of time. We have a lot of time. And they are gonna come out swinging here. Astatine with the disc for Joust Advantage. They, uh, they're they up by just one goal. So lots of heat coming in from Inversion right now. That green pigeon with the disc moving into the midfield area, but the stack attacks. You Fuji, oh wait, Fuji. I was mixing their names, Phenom and Yuji, together there in the midfield. And that stack does get attacked back though. And that is going to be Astatine with the disc now trying to uh, get another goal on the board here as they do move down the arena, looking for the pass possibly. Yes, yeah, gonna find it there with that green pigeon. That green pigeon does get stunned out there, losing possession of the disc. And that's gonna be Solar Pete making that grab, sending it back to Avian. Avian bounces it in to that green pigeon. They are looking for the three, it appears. We'll see Avian with the disc, sends it up to Yoon, but what a steal. Yuji coming in clutch, making that save. Gonna send that disc right back out of the bubble again. Yoon with it, trying to get it back in one more time as Avian collects that disc. Gonna fake pump and sink it in the bottom pocket. Beautiful shot by absolutely great players. Uh, you know, eight to four now, but inversion, they're 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 showing some fight here. They're showing a lot more fight in this round than they showed in the previous round. Let's see what they have here. On the joust, it's gonna be grabbed by looks like Phenom who sends it straight down. That's sent over to, to Suna. To Suna passes it over to Yuji. It's gonna walk into the bubble, shoot, two points. That was quick. Thank you. And yeah, they do it with style. They absolutely do. And right now they are going to come back out. Swinging Astatine is, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I sometimes think that these guys are playing so hard and they just look at that disc and they just say, I'm never going to give you up. And they just keep fighting and fighting and fighting. That Green Pigeon now with the disc. Going to send that one all the way through down to Yoon. Yoon going to send that one off the backboard and into oh. the goal. That was, well, like I said, they do it with style. And that certainly was stylish. Nice long bounce off the backboard right into the goal. Three points. They are now ahead by five points. But Inversion is still here. They are still fighting. And on the joust, Phenom's going to send it straight down into the left tunnel. It's going to bounce. Oh, and it's grabbed by Solar P, who hands it off to Avian. Avian's going to pass it out through the left tunnel down to Oon. Oon's going to walk it up, looking for that pass, looking for that pass. A little pressure there, but able to send it down to Avian. Avian's going to, oh, a missed pass. It's going to float there on the right side, grabbed by that green pigeon, who almost did not get it off to Oon. Oon's going to send it up straight up to Avian, looking down. Did not make that bank shot. It's going to get grabbed by Yuji. Looks like it's going to get cleared out all the way out into the orange bubble. Bounce around on the floor there, but here come the stacks. And the stack that gets it first is Phenom, who gets stunned out quickly. That green pigeon grabs it, sends it right back into the inversion side of the arena. Grabbed by Oon. Oon's not going to make the pass or not going to make the uh, goal there. Grabbed by Solar P. Solar P resets it back out to that green pigeon who's going to do a little pump fakes, a little you know, <laughs> make you jump here. Send it across to absolutely nobody. 
Sassoon is able to recover it, pass it out the right tunnel. That cream pigeon gets back. I think they might be playing for a little time here. What do you they think? are, they, and they can. They have the time, they have the point, they have the advantage, definitely. They can burn the clock down. Uh, but a move like that is not going to be what they needed to do. And that disc is in the hands of you and going to sink that one in, stretching that lead out. Ow. Yeah, you watch Brick these teams. It's just wow. <laughs> I know they're, they're amazing. They're all amazing. Uh, Brick Rage. Yes. Ever. He did take round one 18 to four inversion right now down. They, they've been holding their own though, for sure. 13 to six right now with uh, two and a half minutes left in in the, the second round here. And that is going to be a nice slap out by Yuji, getting that disc back out into the orange zone. But Solar P is there to make the grab, sends it back into Yoon. Yoon gonna send that one all the way into the bubble off the backboard, but Phenom is going to make that grab, sending that one back through the mid. And that disc is gonna be right there. Phenom once again, but gets snatched by Yoon with an open goal, stretching that lead to 10. 10 points. Two minutes. It's just barely doable, but it is doable here. Let's see what Phenom and Inversion has to bring to this game. Let's see if they really want to win or not. On the joust, Phenom's gonna pass. Wait, Phenom isn't gonna pass it. He's gonna send it over to the left tunnel once again. Grabbed by Retro, is able to stun out the defender. Sent across over to Tsuna. Tsuna sends it down to uh, Yuji, who's unable to catch the pass. Yoon stuns him out, and Solar P is able to clear it out. Oh, not clear it out, but there it goes. Avian's able to finally get it through into the blue bubble, bounce off the backboard. It's cleared out by Inversion, but that Green Pigeon picks it up. We're gonna dance around that post, pass it up, and oh, ding! You gotta hate when that happens. Of course, when you're ahead by 10 points, it's not that painful. It's going to be passed from that Green Pigeon over to Oon, who's going to hide behind the uh, shield there and send it across. Two more points. It is now 18 to 6. It is 18 to 6. Uh, wow. Yes, we are getting insider commentary by UG Mom saying that UG is absolutely screaming right now. <laughs> I love it. All right, that's going to be Joust Advantage one more time going back to Inversion. And they are going to come out swinging, still fighting for it. Phenom over to Yuji, but going to get losing possession to Yoon there. Going to send that one all the way into off the back wall where Solar P is there to sink another one, stretching that lead to 14. Yeah, that was just the exclamation point on this win. They're ahead by 14. We're going to have something like 10 seconds on the uh, joust here. This round is over. Congratulations to every key. Ask the team. They, they've, they've, they just wanted it more. All right, we'll have the joust. We have six seconds. It's sent out through the tunnel, and it doesn't matter. It's, it's unfortunate, but it was a wonderful game. Both teams played hard. Both teams are incredibly talented. I enjoyed casting this match. Yeah, absolutely. It was a, it was a great one to, to be a part of. Super fun. Uh, Square Dash, no offense taken. You know what? I really appreciate Yuji Mom. She's always here cheering on, cheering on Yuji, and I think that's fantastic, and I love it, and I love the parents popping in to watch their kids play. It's That's the reason I got involved in Echo, too. So I I love that, and there's never any offense. There's room for all of us to be great moms and, and dads and brothers and sisters and the whole shebang. So uh, you uh, you guys keep, keep, keep on on. And... Although I would like to say, I'll never say goodbye. I'm going to say goodbye right here, right now. That was for you, Yuji Mom. Uh, the last the last line of that of that section of that song as we've been going back and forth in the Twitch chat. I am Jeep Girls. With me has been Pinched Nerve. And on cams has been the amazing Wonder T-Man. This has been another fantastic and super fun night of Echo Arena Season 6, Cycle 3. So we'll be back in, a, am sure, a day or so. If there's not another cast tonight, I don't know. We'll see. So watch the, check out the webpage and see what's what's going on. Um, as always, we really appreciate you guys, and we will see you soon.
VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products Border Foods VR Cover ProTube VR Rebuff Reality and VRWare.net